Um, I win the whole finale, and um, again, I, I, I bomb. I just tank. I'm back into the, to the, to the, just the drugs and alcohol. I was. I knew then that I was throwing away opportunity, losing matches, losing my career in in um, or at least the status that I had. You know, as a mixed martial artist, I. Yeah, it's losing. It's losing in ways that's like silly. Like losing, not losing the guys. They had top-notch opponents. Each guy that I lost to is top top ten in the world. And it's like if I wasn't fighting myself and them at the same time, I would have. I would have easily. It's not like easily, but I know I'm. I'm. I know I'm the winner. I know I'm supposed to be the winner. I'm beating myself. Is where I'm at. What was it like mentally? Was it a struggle for you? What was it? Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I I pretty much slowed my momentum down myself, man. I I, I derailed myself and kind of just, I don't know, man. I just couldn't I couldn't focus, man. I couldn't see the the goal. I didn't really have any goals, you know. I didn't really know what to do next, you know. I know that my job is to be a fighter and stuff, but sometimes you know I can be left for a guy like me a little bit unfulfilling, you know. At times, you know, I want something that I want something to fight for. You know, rather than just fight to fight. And now I feel like I definitely um, have come to a place where I know that I need to fight in order to get to where I need to go in life. So now it's more of a necessity, more than just more than anything. This is it's a nice place to be, man. It definitely fuels some fire. It, it, my body has definitely showed me that I need to either shape up now, and I ain't gonna last that long. I knew that I just need to fight one more time to get the money to get to India because that was my plan. Like I just something about me just told me it's like this is this is ridiculous. You can sit here in America and fight in this big old system and keep doing this and keep trying to be, you know, big tough fighter and do this for girls and introduce yourself as as hi, my name is Jonathan. I fight in the UFC blah 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 and like that be life. You can keep doing that for as many years as you want. You know what? You could probably do that till you're 35, 40 years old making money think you're traveling the world because you're traveling with the UFC and you go to Beijing for you know a day or so and fight and for five days and get a couple hellos and things and go back home but it's like it's not immersion and that's not life it, it couldn't have gone worse for me once I even got to Vegas I remember thinking to myself I'm like man, you need to get to India man like you can't wait for this you can't prolong it man you need to get out so it's like as I was laying there on the floor it wasn't a matter of like you got to do this to win the fight you can win this fight it was like you need to get up so that you can have the money to go to India. And that was, that, was, that was my only motivation. It had nothing to do anymore with fighting. I was completely checked out for the time being. So once the bell rang and I was actually beating up on the dude, and the dude was, you know, like, he, he was definitely in, in a hurt position. I just remember thinking to myself, like, this is odd, because if you press right here, you can win. It's like that feeling that you get. You get it in all the fights. Like you know when there's an opening to win. You just like your spider, spidey senses go off, and you're like, "This is this is my opportunity to pounce and win." And I remember thinking that, and then just being like, like kind of blah about the whole thing. And then it's like, you know, it's just the first by the end of the first round. You know, I just get caught in a little silly choke. Don't even really want to fight it off, and. And I was just happy. I was just happy to be I was disappointed, you know. I was, and that's hard. That was hard. It was hard to be. I'm still trying to put my finger on what emotion that was. Um, I'm being so sad over losing something that, like, I really didn't want that bad. It's funny too. They always tell you. They say, oh, the problem with running away is that you, you always run into yourself, you know. So it's like, I know that, uh, like, like what's gonna change over there, you know? Well. I'm still going to be me and those things are not going to go away I know that that's one thing I'm not I don't have any preconceived notions or like, oh magically my addictions and things are going to go away no I know those things are going to be with me for the rest of my life I'm going to always want and like and do these things I don't know how that works or why it is but that voice inside my head will never be quiet and this I know through trial and error and I know from other people who who've been sober for 40 years and say oh that voice is still there it's just about how you overcome it well, that's fine. I know where to get the tools for that. But what's my plan of action? What do I what do I feel like I'm going to do once I learn how to just quiet those voices, quiet my mind, empty my mind rather, you know?